Welcome to another Epic Ethics Story, part of the Daniels Fund Ethics Initiative Elementary School Program. As you listen to the story, consider the four awesome questions inspired by the Rotary four way test. Is it true? Is it fair? Will it build friendships and community? Will it be helpful to those involved? Stay with us after the story for some thought-provoking discussion questions. And now, One Eye, Two Eyes, Three Eyes, a tale from the Brothers Grimm. Once, there were three sisters who lived alone in a cottage in the woods. They had been there as long as they could remember, and they never saw anyone else. Now, the oldest sister was no different from other people. Her name was One Eye. She had just one eye right in the middle of her forehead. The middle sister was also quite ordinary. Her name was Three Eyes. She had one eye in her forehead and one on each side of her face. But the youngest sister was different. Her name was Two Eyes. And that's just what she had. Because Two Eyes was not like others, her older sisters were ashamed of her and picked on her all the time. They dressed her in ragged hand-me-downs and only let her eat leftovers. Now the sisters owned a goat, and every day Two Eyes took the goat to the meadow to graze. One morning, when she had hardly anything to eat, She sat in the grass and cried her two eyes out. All at once, an old woman stood before her. But the biggest surprise was that this woman had two eyes, just like two eyes herself. What's wrong, my dear? asked the woman. It's my sisters, two eyes told her. They never give me enough to eat. Oh, don't worry about that, said the woman. You can have as much as you like. Just say to your goat, Bleat, goat, bleat, and bring me lots to eat. Then you'll have plenty. When you don't want any more, just say, Bleat, goat, bleat. I've had so much to eat. Then the rest will vanish, just like this. And the old woman vanished, just like that. Two eyes couldn't wait to try. She said to the goat, Bleat, goat, bleat, and bring me lots to eat. The goat bleated, Nay! And a little table and chair appeared. The table was set with a tablecloth, plate, and silverware. And on it were dishes and dishes of wonderful smelling food. This sure is better than leftovers, said Two Eyes. She sat down and started in hungrily. Everything tasted delicious. When she'd eaten her fill, she said, Bleat, goat, bleat. I've had so much to eat. The goat bleated, Nay! And the table vanished. And that, said Two Eyes, is better than cleaning up. When Two Eyes got home, she didn't touch her bowl of leftovers. Her sisters didn't notice till she'd gone off to bed. Then Three Eyes said, Look, our little sister didn't eat anything. That's strange, said One Eye. Is someone else giving her food? I'll go tomorrow and watch her. Next morning, when Two Eyes started out, One Eye said, I'm coming along to make sure you tend the goat properly. Then she followed Two Eyes to the meadow and kept a careful eye on her. So, Two Eyes never got to use the old woman's rhyme. When they got home, Two Eyes ate her bowl of leftovers. Then she went off to the woods and cried her two eyes out. The old woman appeared again. What's wrong, my dear? It's my sisters. 
The goat can't bring me food because one eye is watching me. Oh, don't worry about that, said the woman. You can stop her if you like. Just sing her this song. Is your eye awake? Is your eye asleep? Is your eye awake? Is your eye asleep? Keep singing that, and she'll sleep soon enough. Then the old woman vanished. Next morning, when two eyes went to the meadow, one eye again went along. Two eyes said, Sister, let me sing to you. And she sang to her over and over. Is your eye awake? Is your eye asleep? Is your eye awake? Is your eye asleep? One eye's eyelid began to droop, and soon she was fast asleep. Then two eyes said to the goat, Bleat, goat, bleat, and bring me lots to eat. The goat bleated, Nay! The table appeared, and two eyes ate her fill. Then she said, Bleat, goat, bleat, I've had so much to eat. The goat bleated again, Nay! And the table vanished. Then two eyes shook her sister, saying, Wake up, sleepyhead. When they got home, two eyes didn't touch her leftovers. After she'd gone off to bed, three eyes asked, What happened? Who oh, should I know? said one eye. I fell asleep. And if you think you can do better, then you go tomorrow. So next morning, when two eyes went to the meadow, three eyes went along and kept three careful eyes on her. Listen, said two eyes, and I'll sing to you. And she sang to her over and over. Is your eye awake? Is your eye asleep? Is your eye awake? Is your eye asleep? As two eyes sang, the eye of her sister's forehead went to sleep. But her other two eyes didn't. Three eyes pretended, though, by closing them almost all the way and peeking through. She couldn't quite hear what two eyes told the goat, but she saw everything. That night, when two eyes had gone off to bed, one eye asked, What happened? Our sister knows a charm to make the goat bring wonderful food, said three eyes, but I couldn't hear the words. Then let's get rid of the goat, said one eye, and they drove it off into the woods. Next morning, one eye told two eyes, You thought you could eat better than your sisters, did you? Well, the goat is gone, so that's that. Two eyes went down to the stream and cried her two eyes out. Again, the old woman appeared. What's wrong, my dear? It's my sisters. The song didn't work on three eyes. She saw everything, and now they've chased away the goat. Silly girl, that charm was just for one eye. For three eyes, you should have sang. Are your eyes awake? Are your eyes asleep? But don't worry about that. Here, take this seed and plant it in front of your cottage. You'll soon have a tall tree with leaves of silver and apples of gold. When you want an apple, just say, Apple hanging on the tree, I am two eyes come to me. It will fall right in your hand. Again, the old woman vanished. Two eyes went home and waited till her sisters weren't looking. 
then dug a small hole and planted the seed. The next morning, a tall tree stood before the cottage with leaves of silver and apples of gold. Two eyes found her sisters, gaping at it in astonishment. All at once, three eyes cried, Look, a man! Riding towards them was a knight in full armor, his visor over his face. Quick, said one eye, hide our little sister. So they lowered an empty barrel over two eyes. Good morning, ladies, the knight said as he rode up. Beautiful tree you have there. I would dearly love to have one of those apples. In fact, I would grant anything in my power to the lady who first gave me one. The two sisters gasped. They scrambled over to the tree and jumped up and down, trying to grab the apples. But the branches just lifted themselves higher, so the apples were always out of reach. Meanwhile, Two Eyes raised her barrel just a little and kicked a stone so it rolled over to the knight. Well, that's odd, he said. That stone seems to have come from that barrel. Does anyone happen to be in there? Oh, no, said One Eye. Not really. It's just our little sister. She's different, said Three Eyes so we can't let anyone see her. But I want to see her, said the knight. Young lady, please come out. So Two Eyes lifted off the barrel. My word, said the knight. She is the loveliest young lady I have ever seen. He raised his visor for a better look. Oh no! screamed one eye and three eyes together. Two eyes! Sure enough, the knight had two eyes just like their sister. Dear lady, said the knight, can you give me an apple from that tree? Of course, said two eyes. Standing under it, she said, Apple hanging on the tree. I am two eyes, come to me. An apple dropped right into her hand, and she gave it to the knight. My thanks, he said, and now I will grant anything in my power. Well, to start with, said two eyes, you can take me away from these horrid, hateful sisters. So the knight took Two Eyes back to his castle, and since they had so much in common, after all, they both had two eyes. You can be sure they lived happily ever after. As for One Eye and Three Eyes, day after day they stood under that tree and repeated their sister's words. Apple hanging on the tree, I'm Two Eyes, come to me. But the apples never fell for them and they never did figure out why. The end. Discussion questions. What are some typical things that make us angry? Why are we sometimes afraid of differences? What was fair or unfair in the story? Why were Two Eyes' sisters cruel to her? When you see another person criticized for something about them that is different, how does it make you feel? Was there ever a time that you felt bad about how you treated someone? What did you do about it? If someone criticizes something that makes you unique, What are some ways that you could respond? This has been an Epic Ethics recording, generously sponsored by the Daniels Fund Ethics Initiative. 
We'd also like to thank Colorado Rotary District 5450 for your service above self and support of peaceful schools. For more information about the Epic Ethics Program or to bring this program to your elementary school, contact us at www.epicethics.org.